What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you the next episode of Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, uh, we are attacking the city of Akbarabad because the number of Maratha targets on the map uh, is shrinking quite considerably. It's considerably. Considerably. So we're going to have to resort to attacking some cities. So my plan will be to try and destroy them without, ta without um, destroying their... Well, the last region to be taken will be Udai Udaipur. Uh, we will clear them out. Actually, no, we'll take Afghan we'll take Kashmir first. Then we'll take Akbarabad. But I want to defeat them on the field before capturing their final territory and ending the game. Um, but without further ado, let's crack on and attack this city by attacking uh, a fortress that has more. T um, but you know what? I think. Considering the number of forces I've got, I don't know if I, if I lose lots of men at this part of the campaign because we almost rule the entire garden world. And what I do plan on doing is, when this campaign finishes, to go and delete all of my armies and navies and just have a look at how much money I make. Okie dokie, so... So my guns are probably okay here. To knock a few holes in the wall. Let's put my howitzers here. Let's put... These guys are going to be responsible for coming through the breach. Well, the breach is. These other chaps, my marines, my guard infantry, and some of my other infantry are just going to stay well out of the way. Back here. And my general will take position behind the hill in a position of safety. God damn! Too bad I can't quick claim them. I suppose we could probably attack ground next to them. So when this volley of round shot goes in, Bouncing shots. If I do that, are there artillery? Are there cannon shots actually getting towards me? Seems like they're close. Let's speed up time a bit and see if my strategy works. Attacking ground nearby. Hope the it see if the area of effect of quickline works. <laughs> it does! Holy moly! <laughs> That's like the most successful quickline rig's ever been. Well, in that case, then we're, we're obviously going to move up because the center is going to collapse fairly quickly. The mortars are back here, which is the Good target. There we go, we made a hole in the breach, a hole in the wall. Let's move up our line, let's get our artillery to focus on here. God damn, look at the amount of kills these guys, these guys have already got. They fired again. Quick, 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 quick. God damn. That is just obscene. Stop dropping percussion shells on the breach. Because look at all of those dead bodies. Order oh, relegate them to round shutting. Oh, do I set them to quick lime like here? Focus on knocking out the gun battery rather than the central mass. Or do I just set them to hit these guys? Either way, 
I don't think this is going to be a very long game. So who's coming in? So these poor fire like armed populace units aren't going to do very well at all. I mean, these guys missed. These guys didn't know. Look at that. Jesus. Okay, let's start to actually dedicate targets. Actually making another breach, you being successful at all, you're not even firing. So I'm in the section just to the right of the gatehouse. Send forward some light infantry in skirmish mode to try and toggle some behaviour. Oh. God damn. Storm the breach, I think. <laughs> so I've got my content of marines here going to storm and hopefully capture the gate and these chats will storm in, attacking through the gatehouse. Okay, let's make these guys round shot the general. It's not be too effective now. So they've not managed to... I mean, I should take the gate. But the Indian units must have tried to attack out, because the gate opened. Do not fire well. Ah, no, not my light foot first. I mean, my, my foot infantry is supposed to be getting in here first. There we go. They've committed. I mean, we've taken... No, we've taken... This is the body we've taken, isn't it? should have done is should have taken this because I mean look at us let's run some dudes at some dudes over to see if we can actually take it good building captured Now their mortars are starting to drop quickly on us, the snakes. The elephants have finally committed and look at this field of dead. <laughs> Even the mortar crews have oh no, they've still they've still got four. I think 
on the elephants. Things are grinding to a halt. I'm going after my line infantry guards. your damn guns! No! What are you doing? Reorganising. These guys are going to present. Pour fire into the bodyguard. The square's already done that. Unit eradicated. One of our breaching units has finally given up. Understandable, given the circumstances. Second unit is routed. All of you to kill the last guy. Broken. They have fully collapsed. I'm not sure what the trigger was. Oh, it's in the bow there. Well, I tell you what, guys. Awesome. How many kills do they get alone? Did they not even get the most? Okay, so I would assume. The quick climb kills don't really count as kills for the purposes of artillery, hence why my howitzers are all the way down here when it comes to kills, which explains why they don't help them gain experience so well. So it looks like um, using round shot is probably the better thing to do if you want to rack up more kills to get more experience. But the city is ours. Go on, I'll finish off this last scamp. Ready for order. Good guy, Noel. But they hate us. Okay, how much do you hate industrialization? Seven, eh? See you later, Cottonmill. See you later, Cottonmill. See you later, Sugarmill. So I can get rid of the university, get rid of the clamour for reform, but that's. 14 out of 23, so it's still minus 9, so if I get rid of the, some of the... Actually, to be honest, helping, repairing these will probably help a bunch. Hold off destroying all these things. They hide behind I mean, I think this has got to be an auto, because that's just not a fight. None shall defeat us. Congratulations, you have taken the territory. So let me move them south. So we've got one last big cluster down here near Goa. That's probably going to be where we go. Goa first. <laughs> At the ready, sir. Just too bad that Orders. none of the. Yes, sir. Okay, let's cluster together. Not caring about experience. Ready and awaiting orders. Forward! March! Make ready. Let's move the guards unit. Forward! Ready and waiting March. for orders. Your orders. This is 
move the company infantry, you guys and grenadiers out. Forward! At the risk. Let's conjure up some fully strength units from over here. So these guys aren't merging for whatever reason. Let's get these guys in. Forward! No, March! dang it. You and elite infantry join a Mervyn Kelly. Ready and awaiting orders. You know, company line. So, Mervyn, let's get ready to destroy the last Indian pocket on the west coast near Goa. Obviously, except the territory of Goa itself. So, let's attack to destroy those three armies. Will probably be a follow up. Maybe the better call might have been to attack Goa to draw all the armies in. Playing an open field battle the way you can with a city battle. So once you take the square, you just sit on it for a minute, and it's yours. Put more enemy forces into the fight to destroy them, which it is. So I'm going to go slightly off axis. Drop some guns down. Drop a decent wing of infantry to cover this section. And the Lancer Guards covering the hill. Let's drop off our massive horse artillery, no, uh, horse guard artillery section. Let's add a couple more units of infantry. Guards could go further out. And I'm banking on this flank being the slightly safer one. And then let's deploy these lancers on this flank, general in the centre. How it says, oh, heavy horse howitzer. Two heavy horse howitzers. Awesome. Are they engage. Shrapnel the large mortars. Good stuff. So this army on this... I mean, if I quick climb it, this is just going to be horrific. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's do it. They're dropping mortars on me. Quick climb the hell out of them. And these Pindari horsemen. God damn. That's beautiful, man. Oh, damn, this is awesome. This is why you invest in ludicrous amounts of artillery. I mean, it certainly helps that this army is pretty much nothing. But what I'm concerned about is... We're not even concerned. What I'm thinking of is their... Supporting arms. See, they are hitting me with shrapnel shot as well. This isn't just a one... One-way street. Need to learn to fight a new war, India. battlefield on which you earn your spurs. You might actually make it. Well, you will. You immediately lost a bunch of troops on the charge. You cavalry. If you fancy their odds, they are just weak cavalry. Supporting Hindu warriors just got gunned down. But yeah, this is. I mean, the general's gonna. Yep, general's just gone. Wait a minute, did the reinforcements not even come on the? F oh. Well, I mean, we definitely attacked them. 
They must not have arrived. Huh. Well, that's extremely anticlimactic. That's... That's really odd. Unless they were all deployed on the field, maybe? Because ultimately, this isn't like a decent battle. I mean, goddamn. So, you guys know my plan is to finish my Napoleon campaign in the next part, part 70. But it looks like these guys, both of these parts, realistically, may finish very close to each other, at least. Because we've got these fragments up here. Got the assault on Nagpur. We'll be able to hit this army here at Vopol. This army here. There's a little force there. Well, let's make sure things, not, make sure things aren't too underwhelming. Let's attack Nagpur to make sure we have a... There's actually a point to this episode. Yeah, I don't know, there might be two more parts, maybe, after this one. Potentially, by that time, my Great Britain campaign will have kicked in. Word mission. Oh, fog. Mist. Hey, mist. So I'm going to put my artillery up here, because the town, town hall is providing a bit of a blocking... A bit of a blocking feature for my line of sight. And there doesn't seem to be much good territory to advance my guns up into. Let's just put the bulk of my infantry on this flank. Let's align some infantry to advance towards the town. Not necessarily in it, but to occupy certain areas. Light infantry to move up on the flank. To be followed by my general and their cavalry. The howitzers will follow the infantry line. I can hear their horsemen charging already. Ah, oh, damn, I've got my lancers. My lancers hit their Pindari horsemen. My light cavalry charge into their cavalry. Charge in. Ah, what the hell, let's get these guys into the town. Beating my cavalry, so let's charge these guys in on foot to help sort them out. I mean, I might actually try to limber my guns up to get them placed up on this hill. Surprise, fellas! A bunch of PO'd infantry is on the way. I'll lose infantry to this, but I think it's worth it just to tie and fix down their artillery. Not their artillery, their cavalry. Dervishes. What are my lancers doing? They're the ones that are concerning. 
they're better off charging them. I don't even want to let them go. Oh, come on, have you guys not finished off? Hey, they're making them out. A waiver, at least. At least Pandaria Horseman is sticking around quite, quite well. Both wavering, wavering, but they wavered, they broke first. And they are shattered. So let's keep them safe for now. Yeah, these guys have done remarkably well. Stick around this now. Yeah, we've got enough infantry. Especially if they can send their, spend their time wandering around and reorganising. So they've got down to 30 men out of 120, and they're still here. So let's speed up time. Just confident, shaking, steady. Good. So I lost a lot more infantry than I'd have liked, but I'll take it. But you know, my infantry, my artillery, my infantry needs to actually be careful because they do have cannons to show. to shot and shrapnel shot. To you, non populous. Okay, let's draw my infantry in to have some fun. As long as they don't try and push the other flank. How many how this is doing? Yeah, you're almost in position. Okay, what do I want to do with my Something like this. Are the guns actually firing? No, they are not. Howitzers are in formation. Oh, they are now. So I'm not expecting to get many kills. If I can get some, it cause them some concern. Okay, they're actually pushing the flank. Which is a bit of a surprise. I suppose pushing a flank is all they can really do, considering we're pushing... Well, we're pushing, so... They decide not to, then they are sort of by default surrendering the flank. Pushing aggressively. Unlimber the howitzers.
missiles. I said he could drop quick lime, but you know what? I'm not gonna. Let's run up to the position and take it. This guy's having a bit of a. Well, these guys, I do have muskets. They're firing at different, at different targets. So let's send the garrison guards in for combat to make sure they're not shooting onto the flank. Unlimber my foot artillery at the top of the hill. Let's charge straight into the dervishes so they don't get the. or so that we get the charge bonus off. So they've all routed, so let's get back into line. Take position behind the wall. Push up the flank, get our light infantry up here. Looks like they're going to be a bit surrounded. Look at the morale cascading. I haven't killed that many of them. your problem. Fire! Just position my skirmishes there. Keep pushing. Flank up. Skirmish is firing at no one in particular, just let them pick off whatever targets they fancy. It's kind of foot artillery to have a go at the general. But this looks like a pretty damn convincing route. Could chase them down, but you know what? It's not really necessary. That's already dropping in, trying to take out the general. And yep, he's he's gone, he's running. It's Dervish's unit. Dervish unit is just getting absolutely shot to bits. Point blank range. Yeah, some of the units are coming back. Good. And these guys can effectively form a line of reserves. Cavalry's coming back in. Oh, that's the army might actually be coming back. They got an extra sting in that there tail. Cavalry routed. These chaps out of line. Could charge them into the armed populace, but you know what? Where's the fun in there? The units are reforming. Reload your guns. Ah, someone got left behind. Okay, let's 
target, the general's bodyguard. Howitzers are out of range. Why are they going to be that? Oh, I was about to send quick claim and then do fire using the area of effect. But I don't think this is really need. Because this unit over regular troops, this army over regular troops, just isn't going to cut past it. Still, a whopping range. You can still plink at the general's bodyguard. I think that's speed up time because right now there's not. Ah, some troops remain. Dervishes, no less. Well, let's halt my artillery from howitzer fire because that's who they'll be shooting at for sure. Generals routed, so let's sort of focus on our peasantry. But I don't think they're going to be there for very long. They're being targeted by a line infantry unit and two very good skirmish units. And that is what we say is that. Drug victory taking no, Nagpur in the region of Bera. Awesome. Prepare for war. Damn right, prepare for Sorry. war. Then Mr. Gillian Hadley, you can push on and hit Ekpur. Um, it's a pretty ragtag bunch, isn't it? Glorious victory! Forward, sir. Mark. Awesome. Sir. Let's take Sean Lincoln as the next mage sir. army and hit up this army at Bolpol. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for what's really getting down towards the end of the map, or the end of the campaign, finally. Radio. cheers for watching everyone, hope you've enjoyed.